All right, well, let's get this exhaust manifold off. Probably gonna snap. Okay, there we go. Never had this off. It's probably, hopefully, nothing breaks. Oh, yeah, nothing to it. Tell you after buying one of these cordless impacts, I'll never go back. I sure beats having an air hose dragging behind you all the time. Air compressor running in the background. You know, I do a lot of work all over, all over the place, so this is just a perfect tool. For a guy like me. Alrighty. Well, that was easy. That we need no more. We'll use this gasket or a, or a new one as our, our template on Fusion 360 and we'll start fapping up our uh, exhaust manifold. Hey guys, well, let me show you the uh, quick and dirty way that I've figured out how to make parts here in Fusion 360 to actual scale. So I'm going to hit the zoom function and I'm just going to go ahead and hold my tape measure right against the screen here. And I'm looking at the 2.5 inches and I want to make that match 2.5 inches on my tape measure. And I'll show you why in a second. Got it as close as you can. Slightly bigger. Oops, she's touchy. Okay, so there we go, we're bang on. 2.5 inches, 2.5 inches. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the part that I want to make, in this case, the uh, exhaust manifold flange for my Land Cruiser turbo setup and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it right to the screen. Okay, that way when I trace this thing out it's exactly what I've already got. Okay, I'm even using clear tape so I can see through it. Let me get one more piece on here. Okay. And then, I'm just going to go through and make little circles maybe for these holes. I'll start with that. So we're going to go, uh, yeah, we'll go with center diameter circle. And I'll just get it right there in the middle. And there we go, there's one hole. Come along here. Now it likes to automatically line things up here for you. But what I'm actually going to do is move this so that those are, because I can see this one slightly lower, so I want them to all line up. It just makes it easier so that. It's straight with program. There we go. 
Okay, that looks, uh, come down slightly. Okay, we'll get our second circle going. There we go. Get another one, we'll just snap along that same line all the way down here. And we'll go back to this side. And these should all line up. Looking at my gasket, I can see they're not they're not quite perfect. So I just need to adjust a little bit more. Get things sitting where they should be. Okay, looks pretty good. Maybe we'll move to the bottom ones now. Hopefully you guys can see this and it's not all blurry. I don't know how to do a screen recording or anything along them fancy lines but you should get the idea oh, that's a little low I'm going to go ahead and undo that try again uh, okay. a little higher there, uh, that looks better now it's going to snap along to this one there we go go let's get this one okay so we got all our circles made for the bolt holes let's try let's try making these exhaust ports now so let's go how about we go to a square oh, of course I can't see the thing because it's uh, covered by the part but we'll do this two point rectangle let's see here what I'm actually going to do is make one giant one and then we'll trim it down after let's see nope, a little higher hard to see what you're doing sometimes okay, maybe we'll do a line because I can see where that needs to go right to the edge there Okay, we'll take it all the way down to here. Just we want them all to line up nice. And there. Okay, we'll make another line at the bottom. All the way to this side. Okay. We'll make another line down this side. side and we'll extend all these after but this is just so I can get them exactly where I want them okay really doesn't take long once you get the program figured out I can make parts for a while with this now and I know there's probably better ways to do it, but this is the way I figured out and it works for me. That's all you need. So now, uh, kind of got that figured out. I'll extend those, trim it once I get this piece out of the way. Now I'm going to need the outside here. And that's easy enough to do, but I actually want to make this bigger so I've got some more meat here to weld to. So I'm going to go, I'm actually make try a two-point circle because I'm going to go all the way to the outside here let's go kind of to that corner and this corner and that's uh, I mean it's huge I got lots of room to weld but there's nothing wrong with that so we'll do that we'll do that here we'll do that here and we'll do one down here. Okay. So now I got the basic shape figured out. I can get this out of my way. 
and let's go back to my little line function here. Just gonna kind of extend these lines so that they all join up. If you make them a little long, that way you can make sure they snaps and joins together when you go to do that. Go. We'll go ahead once we get this all done we'll use that probably that fillet function to smooth out the corners on these exhaust ports. For now, they're going to have square corners. Okay, whoops, oh, that one's a little crooked. Get rid of it. Do it again. Uh, why is it doing that? Oh, I just made it bigger, but that's fine because that doesn't matter anymore. Okay. There we go. Got our basic exhaust manifold here. We can go ahead and trim up some of these lines we don't want, like those guys. Yep, those guys. Little extra tails we don't need. Okay. Basically that there. Uh, I guess I also don't need that line. That line. Line or that line. There we go. There's our basic manifold flange. Now the only other thing I'm going to do, really, is go in here and let's see fill it. We can go ahead and uh, fill up the corner here. Now let's see. I don't know, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25 looks good. Okay, we'll go ahead and do these all. Oh, there goes the phone. <laughs> of course. Yep, uh, okay, so you kind of get the picture there. Let's, uh, let's pause this for a sec. I'll finish this up and show you the next step. Okay, so I've gone ahead and got all the corners filleted off here, rounded off, and I've got all the circles the same size. And, you know, I can see, well, it's a little out of scale right now because I'm moving around. But I think that's what I'm going to work with. Uh, It'll be uh, just fine. I got lots of meat to weld to, so the next step here is going to be to extrude this. So I can push E and just click anywhere here. Let's say 0.25, and now we can move it around here so you can get a look at it. We got our uh, basic exhaust manifold flange, and um, I'm going to have to jump over to my laptop to actually cut this out over on the plasma table and make the cut file. We'll get into that next.